Hello there everyone and welcome to this Biology Mind A-level tutorial on biological molecules. So this is going to be a really back to basics tutorial, I hope it's going to be mostly familiar stuff with a bit of building on your GCSE knowledge. So we'll be covering two key learning objectives, so number one, characters of biological molecules and number two, monomers and polymers. So let's start off by thinking about biological molecules themselves. So they are the building blocks of biology. Now, most biological molecules are organ organic compounds made from carbon, but in general, they consist of many elements. So not only carbon, but oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and many others. Now, there are four major classes of biological molecules. Now, before I go on to reveal what they are, just have a think to yourself, pause the video if you'd like to, and think about what these four major classes are. I'll reveal them now. So, number one, carbohydrates. Number two, lipids. Number three, proteins. And number four, nucleic acids. So those are our four major classes of biological molecules. There are others. But for the sake of your A-levels, these are the four I want you to remember. Now we've talked a little bit about biological molecules. Let's zoom in a bit and think about what polymers and monomers are. So monomers are the building blocks of our polymers. Monomers are that single unit. Now think about it, mono, the stem, comes from the Greek for one, or alone actually to be strict, comes from the Greek for alone. So this alone molecule, this one molecule, can join together to form a polymer. And poly comes from the Greek for many, so many monomers form a polymer. Okay? That's a really key thing for you to remember here. So many monomers form a polymer. Monomers are your basic building block of a polymer. So polymers can be homogeneous or they can be heterogeneous. So again, let's have a look at what this means. Homogeneous is when they're made up of the same monomer. Okay, so we can see, we know our definition of a polymer is many monomers joined together. So when they're made up of many of the same monomer joined together, they're a homogeneous polymer because it's all the same, it's all the same monomer joined together. So you can see this nice teal coloured dot, whatever it is. Let's call it an amino acid. This nice teal amino acid is the same monomer, it's the same teal amino acid. Joined together lots of times to form a polymer of amino acids. Now here we can see something a little bit different. We can see there's different types of monomers joined together. And when we join different types of monomers together, we form a heterogeneous polymer. So different, they're, they're all of differing backgrounds, whereas here they're all of the same backgrounds in a homogeneous polymer. Okay, so now let's have a think of some examples. Let's put this into practice. So we've talked about how monomers are the basic building blocks of polymers. Many monomers form a polymer. So in carbohydrates, our monomer is our monosaccharide. So that means that many monosaccharides join together to form the polymer of a carbohydrate, the polysaccharide. Now a really useful way to get your head around this is mono is one, poly is many. And when we're talking about carbohydrates, we're thinking about the saccharide stem there, the word. So if it's a monomer of carbohydrate, it's a monosaccharide. If it's a polymer, it's a polysaccharide. And just have a think about what carbohydrates actually are. There are lots of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms joined together. Now, similarly, let's think of proteins. Now, proteins are formed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur groups. And the monomer is amino acid and the polymer is a polypeptide. So many amino acid monomers joined together forms a polypeptide or a protein. Okay, you can use those two words interchangeably, polypeptide or a protein, and that's our polymer structure. 
Now, our lipids, the monomer groups, are fatty acids and glycerol. So note here, this is a bit different to proteins and carbohydrates. We've not got one monomer, we've got two monomers. Now, one glycerol joins to three fatty acids to make one lipid. So you can see that that's a bit different here, and we'll look at that in more detail in a later tutorial. But for now, I just want you to remember that the monomers of lipids are fatty acids and glycerol, and the polymer is our lipid. Then nucleic acids are formed from a carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus atoms, and the monomer is a nucleotide, and many nucleotides join together to form a polynucleotide or a nucleic acid. I'll just write that down for you. So you can also call a nucleic acid a polynucleotide. In the same way that we refer to polysaccharides as carbohydrates and polypeptides as proteins. All right, so this is a really good table to get down into your revision notes because this is such a simple question that you could get into your, in your exam, really easy marks of remembering what the monomers and polymers are of each of these biological molecules. All right, so well done for following through with today's tutorial. I'll see you for the next one.